My sponsor is having a crazy sale to end the season, only $3 for 5 million coins, so if you're looking to get those last few season score tickets, make sure to check them out for cheap NBA Live Mobile coins. What's up, ballers? We are back with some more NBA Live Mobile, and today's video is a little bit of a frustrating one. As you guys can see, we are in our lineup and taking a look at the final lineup. Bruh. Yesterday, it said one week, and now we're a day later, and it says three weeks, which means we've had at least two more weeks added on before the full game releases. This is, <laughs> this is just... So frustrating for a number of reasons. So I usually try to keep the videos positive, but I I don't see any positives in EA doing this. So I'm going to talk about what it means for the game, why it doesn't make sense, and what we're going to do about it, I guess. Um, so obviously EA has pushed back the release of the game once again. They've already pushed it back one time. We thought that it was going to be released around today or yesterday, sometime around then, because that's when the final lineup was said to be expiring. Then they pushed it back two weeks, so it looked like the game was going to reset around the beginning of the NBA season, which makes logical sense. If you're going to start the season for an NBA game, it would kind of make sense to start it at the same time as the NBA season. But apparently that's... We're we're not we're just not following logic anymore. They said, okay, we're uh, we're gonna toss logic out the window, and we're just gonna push it back in another two weeks. So now the likely release date of the game is gonna be around October 29th, which is just some random point two days or two weeks into the season. Um, guys, I honestly I'm just confused. Like, I don't understand why EA would not release the game at the same time as the NBA season. That's a huge marketing opportunity. If they were to put one ad on, t on TV, do you know how many downloads they would get? Like, the amount of money that they could make off that. And they're just pushing it back. I am guess because they don't care about NBA Live Mobile. Maybe it's because they've been too busy focusing on... Madden Mobile and NBA Live 18 or something like that because I, I can't think of like a plausible reason why they would push the release date back again. I honestly think it would have made the most sense to release it this week because the preseason is just starting and everybody's getting hyped up for the NBA right now. People are finally watching basketball again. They're going to be most likely to download the game now, but instead we've pushed it back to an ar arbitrary time that isn't remotely related to anything significant happening in the NBA season. So I can only assume this is just because they don't... Guys, I don't like to say this, but I just don't think EA cares about people that play NBA Live Mobile. Even though it's probably their second most popular mobile game. Um, right now, <laughs> Madden Mobile is getting all the love. Madden Mobile got released way before the NFL season started. And yet we can't even get an on-time release for NBA Live Mobile, which is really frustrating to me because I've built my entire channel on NBA Live Mobile. Um, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys that watch me at least started watching me because I played NBA Live Mobile and I want to give you guys good content. But right now, there's nothing I can do to improve my lineup. So I can do like spin the wheel videos and squad builder videos but any new players that I get, the majority of the time, they're not even an improvement to my lineup. So you guys can like see all these new players, but they pretty much play the same anyway. So it doesn't really make all that much of a difference. Uh, so if you guys could do me a huge favor and let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see in the weeks leading up to the NBA Live Mobile Reset. This is just... It's just so frustrating to me. And I love playing 2K. I've enjoyed playing or making 2K videos. I hope that you guys are enjoying them as well. But I know the majority of you guys do want to see NBA Live Mobile videos. And I want to make good NBA Live Mobile videos. I've talked to everybody that plays a major role in the community. And they're all excited about the reset. And we just kind of like randomly get it pushed back another two weeks. 
So this is now a full month that the reset has been pushed back from when it was originally supposed to be, which was around today. We were thinking probably today or tomorrow was originally when the game was going to reset, and now it's been pushed back again. I'm hoping if they're going to push back the reset four weeks in total, they've got to have some amazing stuff coming out to us because <laughs> if we get this reset pushed back four weeks and don't get any new features added to the game, I am just going to lose my mind. Like, that's two weeks of good content that I could be making that I'm not going to be able to make for NBA Live Mobile 18. That's balling on a budget videos, that's budget beasts, that's sniping filters, that's all this time that you guys could be building up your lineups, and now your lineups are going to be weaker going into the season because we're still going to start with the same lower tier items. And they're also going to be missing out on Team of the Week players. Oh my gosh. EA, what are you thinking? Like, that's that's, that's my overarching question for the video. I just, I just don't know what they were thinking with this. So, hopefully you guys can uh, stick with me through this frustrating setback. Obviously, I'm still going to be putting out videos. I've still been double uploading despite the fact that we don't have a ton of new content in the game. Obviously, we're still getting these ultimate legends. And we're st we still had the cornucopia packs. So, the cornucopia packs were nice. Obviously, people like them because you got crazy good players out of them for ridiculously low prices. But now... The auction house is also crashed. So we have a crashed auction house, totally maxed out lineups, don't really have any need for more new Ultimate Legends to be added to the game because literally, look at this. Look at my lineup. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. 99, 99, 99, 98. Uh oh, oh, we've got a 98. Is that my fault? Should I have a 99 there? There might be a 99 that I'm actually missing out on for that one. 99, I know I just said 99 a lot in the last 30 seconds, but guys, there's literally, like, there's almost nothing I can do to improve my lineups. Other than getting players that give boost to the rest of the lineup so I can replace... Ellen Iverson's one I could replace. Derrick Rose and Steph Curry. Anybody else that can be replaced. Kevin Durant. Jimmy Butler and Fred Brown. And Laurie Markkinen. And Kyrie Irving. And that's literally all that can be replaced in my lineup. That will actually boost my lineup. I'm happy with this as my legacy lineup. I don't want any more improvements. But EA... EA is going to be EA. So it is what it is, guys. Hopefully, they maybe they'll surprise us and bump up the reset and make it come faster than we're expecting. We can tell. So we've got a more accurate assessment, I guess. we got three weeks and five days left on these. So that would be 26 days until the reset, which would be October 28th. Oh, my gosh. Actually... It wouldn't even launch on October 28th. It would probably shut down on October 28th, which means the game would launch probably October 30th. Is that, or maybe maybe on Halloween? The thing is, Halloween was like the second or third program that we had in NBA Live Mobile 16, or I guess it would have been NBA Live Mobile 17, and now <laughs> the game's not even going to start until Halloween. Like, that's what they're doing right now. It's just, it's mind-boggling to me, guys. I don't understand it. If you've got any possible reasoning for it that they might have commented down below, I would love to hear it, guys. But that's going to be it for the episode. Hope you did enjoy. As always, hit the subscribe button if you're new. And drop a like down below, and I will see you guys next time.